Okay, in this video, we're going to be partitioning a segment into a given ratio. Now, partitioning just is another word for dividing. So basically, we're going to be dividing a segment into a given ratio. And in this case, we're going to be dividing it into a ratio of 3 to 2. So our example says segment AB has these coordinates. And we're looking for the coordinates of another point, C, that's going to divide that segment into a particular ratio, into the ratio of 3 to 2. So the first step there, part A, says draw segment AB. So you draw segment AB here. Draw segment AB with point C in between points A and B. So point C, that's my point that's going to divide it into a ratio of 3 to 2. I don't know exactly where that point's going to go, but I'll put it right there. That looks kind of like, that's maybe roughly 3 to 2, just to you know, kind of make it look right. So draw AB with point C between points A and B. Label the coordinates of A, B, and C. Okay, so point A is negative 7, comma, 4. Point B is 8, comma, 9. And point C, I don't know what the coordinates of that point are yet, so I'm just going to call them X, comma, Y, and I want to, I'm going to figure out what X and Y are. All right, label the coordinates of A, B, and C, and label the lengths of A, C, and C, B. All right, so now to label the lengths, we're going to basically use the coordinates that we have and when it says label the lengths, we're going to label them in, in, in two ways. One, we're going to label the x distances, the x lengths. And then we're going to label the y lengths. So let's say I'm going to use my x, I'm going to call this x distances. My x distances up here and my y distances down here. So basically, I'm going to say what's the distance in, in the x direction? What's the distance from point A to point C? So in the x direction, I can see point A the x-coordinate is negative 7, and point C, the x-coordinate is x. Well, the distance, if I want to know the distance between those two, those two x values, it's going to be my second one minus my first one. So x minus negative 7. x minus negative 7, which is the same as x plus 7. So x plus 7 is this distance right here from A to C. The distance from C to B, again, in the X direction. From C to B is also this X coordinate minus this X coordinate, the second one minus the first one. So this time it's going to be, that distance is going to be 8 minus X. All right. Now in the Y distance, let me just write those down here. Y distance is going to be, I'm basically going to do the same thing except using my Y coordinates. So from 4 to y, that's going to be y minus 4. That's that distance in the y direction. And from c to b in the y direction is going to be, again, my second coordinate minus my first one, so 9 minus y. All right, so there's part a. I've got all of the parts of part a. I've got my segment, segment drawn, and I've got my distances between each of my points here, my AC and CB distances, both in the X direction and in the Y direction. All right, so let's take a look at the next part. Part B says, set up a proportion describing the lengths of AC and CB in the X direction. Okay, so here's my, here's my segment that I just drew, except now I'm, I'm only showing the, the X distances here because that's the only ones I'm interested in right now. So I want to set up a proportion, and remember, I want my proportion to be 3 to 2, All right? So I want this to be in a, in, a, in a ratio of 3 to 2. Well, essentially, what I've got here is I've got my corresponding parts, and I can set up a proportion using these corresponding parts. So let's see, x plus 7 over 8 minus x equals x plus 7 or 8 minus x equals 3 over 2. All right, so I just set up my proportion describing the lengths of AC and BC. So this is AC, x plus 7, this is AC, and this is CB. And here's my proportion. All right, so now I've got my proportion. Part C is solve the proportion. So let's solve this proportion to find our x coordinate here. So I need to cross-multiply, so let's see. 
I cross multiply. Let's do this one first. This is 2 times x plus 7. I'm going to write that like this. 2 times x plus 7 equals 3 times 8 minus x. 3 times 8 minus x. And notice I've written it with the x plus 7 and the 8 minus x in parentheses. That's because I have to multiply 2 times the whole numerator here and 3 times this whole denominator. And it also means I'm going to be, when I multiply these out, I'm going to be using my distributive property to multiply that out. So 2 times x is 2x. 2 times positive 7 is positive 14. 3 times 8 is 24. 3 times negative x is negative 3x. All right. So let's see. How about if I add 3x to both sides here? Get all my x's together. And let's see, how about if I subtract 14 from both sides? So that gives me 5x equals 10. And now if I just divide both sides by 5, then I get x equals 2. And now I know what the x-coordinate of my point C is. That x-coordinate is going to be 2. All right? So let's go on and do the same thing for the y distances and see if we can find out what the y coordinate is going to be. All right, part D, separate proportions. So again, I'm just going to do the same thing that I did before, except now I'm doing it. Whoops, except now I'm doing it with my y distances. All right, so I want to know AC to CB that ratio. So let's see, AC is y minus four. CB is 9 minus Y, 9 minus Y. And again, I want this ratio to be 3 to 2. So Y minus 4 over 9 minus Y equals 3 over 2. And there's my proportion. Now I just need to solve this, cross multiply and solve that for Y. So let's see, 2 times Y minus 4 equals 3 times 9 minus y. Again, I need my distributive property here. 2 times y is 2y. Two, 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. 3 times 9 is 27. 3 times negative y is negative 3y. And let's see, how about if I add 3y to both sides? minus 8. And let's see, I'll add 8 to both sides to get all my constant terms over to the same side. So let's see. It's going to give me 5y equals 35. And again, I divide both sides by 5, and I get y equals 7. So now I have both my x-coordinate and my y-coordinate. I can write C as an ordered pair. That's part F there on your notes. So if I write C as an ordered pair, it's going to look like my x-coordinate is 2, and my y-coordinate is 7. So there's my point C that divides my segment into a ratio of 3 to 2. Now that last part there, it says check your answer by using the distance formula. So let's do that. I want to check my answer using the distance formula. That is, I want to check that the ratio of those two distances, the distance from A to C and from C to B, is in fact in the ratio of 3 to 2. So my distance formula, I remember, is the distance between two points is the square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. And these values here, x sub 2 and x sub 1, y sub 2, y sub 1, those are just the x and y coordinates of the two points that I'm calculating the distance between. So first, I want to calculate the distance between point A and point C. I'll call that distance from A to C. All right, so let's see, my point A, those coordinates were negative 7, 4, 
and my point B, oh, no, my point C, which I just calculated. Let's see, that was 2, comma, 7. All right, so this is going to be x1 and y1. That's these two coordinates here. And this is going to be x2 and y2. Those are these two coordinates here. So all I need to do is plug these numbers into my formula and do a little bit of arithmetic. So let's see. x2 minus x1. So that's going to be 2 minus negative 7 squared plus, let's see, y2 minus y1 is 7 minus 4 squared. And let's see. So 2 minus negative 7, that's 2 plus 7, which is 9. So that's 9 squared plus 7 minus 4 is 3, so that's 3 squared. So this is, let's see, square root of 9 times 9 is 81, 3 times 3 is 9, and that's going to be the square root of 90. Now I could simplify this some more, but since I know I'm going to be setting up a ratio between these two distances, I'm just going to leave that for now and not worry about simplifying it and move on and get my other distance, and then I'm going to divide them and see if the ratio is in fact 3 to 2. So let's see distance from point C to point B. So let's see. Here's my point C. My point B, let's see those coordinates are 8 comma 9. All right, and now for this one, this is going to be my x1 and y1. And this is going to be my x2 and y2, since now I'm doing the distance between these two points here. So let's see, x2 minus x1, that's 8 minus 2 squared plus y2 minus y1, that's 9 minus 7 squared. And let's see, 8 minus 2 is 6, so that's 6 squared plus 9 minus 7 is 2, so that's 2 squared. And so let's see, 6 times 6 is 36, times 2 is 4, so this is the square root of 40. And now, since I have these two distances, and my original problem said I want to find the point, the coordinates of point C that divides AB into a ratio of 3 to 2, well, so then that means my, if, if I set up a ratio then between these two distances, the distance from A to C, and the distance from C to B, well, then that ratio should be 3 to 2. Well, let's see if it is. Distance A to C, that's square root of 90. And the distance from C to B, that's square root of 40. And if I punch this into my calculator, then I find that what I get is 1.5, and 1.5 is equal to the ratio of 3 to 2. So the distance formula confirms that I have in fact gotten the correct answer with the coordinates of point C 2, 7.